Hello there gang, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, for a more relaxed kind of video, I've done this shoe collection video in the past, um, but obviously very prim and proper. Um, but I have been watching so many vlogs lately, and I'm just getting sick and bored <laughs> of my sit down videos. Um, so I just want to do this more relaxed and casually. And we are going to have a look at my shoe collection today. I really enjoyed making vlogs the past few weeks um, and definitely want to get back into that sort of thing. So I feel like I'm going to do most videos like vlogs now and see how it goes. <laughs> If you are new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Don't forget to come and follow me over on Instagram where I post almost daily stuff that you won't see here on YouTube. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So I've got my prop myself properly ready today because me, Scott, Joanne, Danielle, Tom and John are all going to see Kim Petras tonight. Dodo was supposed to come, but she is in Italy with her friend Luke at a tattoo convention, which is fine, but she's just gonna miss out on the icon that is Kim Petras. It's funny because I was thinking of doing um, this video, but then I was like, I don't know, is it too like overplayed? And then I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I watch videos like this all the time, looking in people's wardrobes, looking in people's closets, seeing what kind of brands people have, seeing what types of shoes people have. So I was like, I haven't done a shoe collection in ages. I'm just gonna do it. Today I am wearing I look like a beast in this mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna go to this one. Good thing I've got two mirrors now. Um, I'm wearing this faux leather shirt from Zara, which is so, so soft. It did smell like fish for like the first few days. I aired it out a little bit. I made the mistake of wearing it straight to my friend's birthday drinks whilst it smelled of fish. I left after a few hours because I was like, I stink of fish, I'm just gonna leave. Um, my NCL gallery t-shirt which you can't see too much in here but you've got the little logo there and then some paper bag denim waist denim don't know any of them from ASOS which I wear all the time so this is where I keep the majority of my shoes and um, the black storage shelves are from IKEA if you're interested they're very very affordable I just thought these would be the best way to kind of showcase my shoes um, I like to have everything where I can see it because then I don't forget what I have so starting on the top shelf, we have my Balenciaga track sneaker collection. So the first pair that I got of these are the white and orange pair, which I actually don't own anymore because I sold them because I felt like after I got the all white ones, um, the white and orange were a bit obsolete in my eyes. Um, so the white ones I picked up summer last year and I've worn them to death. Like you can see how dirty they are. They were a very, very good investment for me, although I did go a size down um, and they felt very, very small. But <laughs> my white and orange ones were my size, but they just felt too big, so I sized down, which was a mistake. Um, then I got gifted the black ones from Flannels for my trip to Seoul in South Korea um, towards the end of 2018. In terms of how much I've worn them all, I feel like I've worn the white ones the most. Then the grey V2s um, next, and then the black ones, and then the orange and grey ones. The orange and grey ones I'm probably going to sell sometime soon because I've literally not worn them at all. I think I just saw them on Instagram and they looked very shiny and new and I was like, wow, I've never seen those before, they look amazing. Um, and then haven't worn them. So yeah, out of all of these, I'm going to say the white ones were probably the best purchase. Balenciaga Triple S. So I had the Balenciaga Triple S um, the day they came out, um, but obviously they were the black and the red pair. Um, but I sold those because I wore these ones a lot more. I think the theme is I buy a lot of different coloured sneakers and end up just keeping the white ones. Um, so yeah, these have been a really, really good investment. These are the nylon version, which came out a while after the first lot of Triple S and they're more kind of refined. I definitely got a lot more wear out of these than I did the red and the black ones. My new boots! <laughs> these are a pair of square toe white leather boots from a brand called Human Official or Human Tea Official. They zip up at the back. They're extremely comfortable, they're extremely sassy and they're very, very cool. Although I've only worn them once 
and I already chipped them. But that's because I live in central London and, well, I live just outside of central London, but I went into central London with them and that's what snookered me. I do love square toe boots. I've got a couple of other square toe boots in the collection ready to show you. Um, but these ones are very kindly gifted to me by Human Tea Official and they are so nice. They do lots of other options as well. You should check them out if you've not heard of them. They are a South Korean brand as well. Next up, the Dior Oblique sneakers. These have literally probably been the best investment that I made. And I was lucky to get the last size nine that they had at the time. And I have worn these to death. And I still wear them to this day. I just think they're classic. They're shaped like a Converse, you know. They're very, very wearable. Um, they have the subtle Dior oblique print on them as well. And they're very, very comfortable. I was really scared at the start of ruining them because this is like a very thin, like, I don't know what you would call it, but it's like lots of little links together. Like when you scratch it, it makes that noise. Um, but they have literally not broken. Having said that, I'll probably put them on tomorrow and they'll break. Um, they were like £700, so very, 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 very expensive for a pair of shoes, but I have worn them an awful lot. Next up, following on from the tracks, we have the Margiela Fusion sneaker. Now, I got a lot of stick for these. I mean, bits are hanging off them right now. <laughs> It's probably not a good, oh my god, I can't even get it off. That's just glue, like, that's just a bit of glue that's part of the shoe. But it's fine because they look ruined anyway, so it doesn't matter if you do ruin them. These were so expensive and I've definitely not worn these as much as I thought that I would. I probably will try and wear them more this year. I just think they're a really beautiful piece. At first I thought they were disgusting and then I got really, really, really enamored by them is that the word so look they've got like duct tape they've got like bits of other shoes just pasted onto them and glued together they're quite comfortable as well um but they do feel a bit like you're walking on like with a tile attached to the bottom they're very flat but yeah next up the nike sakai ld waffle i got these as a gift as part of a collaboration with stock x and I cannot be happier. I literally, I think they're worth about £400 at the moment. I tried to get them when they went on sale from loads of different places like End Clothing and stuff like that, but I was un unfortunate and did not manage to cop a pair. I'd love them in the other colorway as well. They've got new ones coming out very soon, which look amazing. Um, so they've got the double tongue. This is all like mesh. They're very, very comfortable. They're extremely lightweight, a lot more lightweight than any of the Balenciaga or the Dior shoes or anything like that. They feel like you're walking on air and they're a bit, they're a bit chunky as well because you've got this like double sole kind of elevation here, which is just foam. So it's, it's very, very light, very, very wearable. Scott even steals these off me because he likes wearing them so much. I never like paying resale for stuff, but I would say that if you are a massive fan of these, that if you do fork out that like 350 quid, you will not be disappointed because they are amazing sneakers. Um, doesn't justify the price for it, I guess, because they were only 150 when they came out, but that is the world that we live in. Next up, the Acne Studios Rockaway sneakers. I picked these up from Forward Man. They were gifted to me um, and I've worn them so, so much. I feel like they're very neutral. Um, some people think they're ugly because of all the bumps and stuff, but I think they're quite pretty. Um, they've brought out other iterations of them with like a lower sole and stuff like that, but I just haven't been a fan. Um, and they do loads of colorways of these as well now as well, but I've just stuck to these. But yeah, they're just a really, really trusty sneaker. Next up, the, oh, I'm gonna have to <laughs> probably Google this to get the name right. I think they're the Cla Prada Cloud Bust? Cloud Bust Thunder Knit? I don't know. Um, it's got a long name. They look like golf shoes in a way with lots of like spikes on the bottom, but I love the soles of these so much. And I love that the whole shape of the shoe just looks like a transformer. The box even looks like a transformer. Um, they're just really, really interesting and unusual sneakers. Um, these again were quite pricey. I picked them up from Matches Fashion. Um, and I do wear them quite often. I, um, and this is the only colour that I really like of these sneakers. They've come out in a lot of other colours. But I think the, I'd usually go for a white sneaker in like, hello microphone, in the Triple S and the Tracks. 
I've gone for white. But with these, the white pair to me looks a bit like a toy. And I don't really like that for my look. Um, so I went with the black and I'm happy. The big, big daddy Bottega Veneta Chelsea boot. These are stunningly beautiful. I was so, so happy that I made this purchase. I actually bought them whilst I was on FaceTime to Drew from I'm Drew Scott. Um, and he was talking about his pair that he purchased and he was like, Joel, you have to get them. They're so comfortable, they're so cute. They go with loads of things. And I was like, okay. I managed to find one of the last pairs online in my size and was so, so happy. They're so chunky, the boot goes so high up. They look so sick with pants tucked into them or with jeans over the top of them as well. They're just a really, really nice staple piece. So I would definitely, they're very comfortable as well. Like they're hard to get on and off, um, but they're extremely comfortable. So I do recommend the Bottega Veneta Chelsea boot. So under all my clothing rails here, I have these square toe Chelsea boot, like smaller Chelsea boots, I guess. I picked these up when I was in South Korea from a little shop in Hongdae, and they are so, so cute. They're very lightweight. Um, they're very, very comfortable. There's a stone in them. <laughs> and yeah, I really, really love these. Um, I don't wear them that often, but they were kind of, they were super affordable. We then have the ASOS contrast stitch kind of chunky boot as well. These are only 50 pounds. Again, another f affordable option. So I wear these um, to like festivals and gigs and stuff like that because I feel like I can feel comfortable in getting them messy because they just wipe clean dead easy. And yeah, they go with a lot of outfits as well. I really, really love these. Next up, the all white your oblique sneakers. Um, I don't know if you saw my video last year, but a very, very kind and sweet follower actually sent me these for my birthday. Um, his name is Oreo, so thank you for these. I tend to not wear these as much because they're so pristine and so, so nice that I wanna look after them and keep them in tip-top condition. Um, I have worn them out a few times, but definitely not as much as the other oblique sneakers. And finally, I have the off white hiking boot. Now these are intense and I love them so much. Um, but one of the reasons why I don't wear them that much is because of how much yellow they have on them. And that's the reason why I stay away from Doc Martens with yellow lining because, or yellow stitching, because a lot of my wardrobe doesn't really go with that kind of yellow. Um, so I get a bit stuck when styling them. I think they're a beautiful shoe. They were gifted to me by flannels um, and I absolutely love them and I'm obsessed with them. I love this like metal detail here. I just need to find more, more outfits to style with them. Oh, the shirt still really smells of fish. I hope you've enjoyed looking through my shoe collection. It's a lot smaller, I feel, um, than I thought it was, um, which is a good thing. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of things that I don't wear um, too often and not try and buy as many things I wouldn't wear. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, come follow me over on Instagram and give this video a thumbs up and let me know what the kind of videos you wanna see and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching guys, bye.